Hi everyone and praise the Lord. This is Prophetess Rema from Rema Life Ministries International and I'm here to inform you that I will be in Dubai from 12th May to 15th May 2023. The prophetic is emerging in a higher and a new dimension and the time is coming for a revival that is going to spread throughout the globe that we have not heard of. Dubai, get ready for this prophetic fire. Let me tell you something. God raised up one Moses and through him, the whole of Israel, the whole nation was saved. God raised up one Deborah and she delivered Israel from Jabin, the king of Canaan. The Lord has called and commissioned me to raise our people like Moses, like Deborah, who will operate like God on this earth and will invade the kingdom of God. So I want to invite one and all to be a part of this conference. All those who want to register for one-on-one, -on -one, I want you to go ahead because the registration is absolutely free. The conference is absolutely free. The people who want to meet me for one-on-one, -on -one, you want me, you want to meet me for counseling, for impartation, for healing, for deliverance, for whatsoever reason. I want you to kindly call the number, send a message on the number that is reflecting on your screen and you can take an appointment. Amen. So I want and I want you to share, share, share this video to every person, to every person all in Dubai. You know anyone in Dubai? Kindly share this video and do not miss this conference. This is going to be the most powerful prophetic fire conference that you ever want. I want to invite people in Dubai to attend this conference. Dubai, it's time for the prophetic revival fire. So note the date and the time and be there. God bless you. Shalom. Greetings everyone and praise the Lord. I hope you all are blessed. I'm just come to share a small nugget from the word of God. Let's open the word of God to Colossian chapter 1 verse 13. And it says, He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. I just read from Colossians 1, 13 and 14. Hallelujah. The word of God, my dear brother and sister, understand one thing. God has already delivered you. Hallelujah. God has already delivered each one of you. Hallelujah. From the power of darkness. Hallelujah. You were when you read the day you received Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. You were delivered. Hallelujah. You were delivered from the power of darkness darkness because the word of God says he has delivered us from the power of darkness not only that he has not only delivered you but he has conveyed you transported you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his son Jesus Christ hallelujah which means you are no longer you do not belong to the kingdom of Satan. You do not belong to the kingdom of darkness. But you belong to the kingdom of Jesus. Because he's redeemed you by his blood. And he's not only redeemed you. But he's also forgiven you. No matter what are the sins. What sins you must have committed. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter the size of your sin. It doesn't matter the size of your guilt. Maybe the enemy is condemning you day in and day out. But can we open the word of God right now? Hallelujah. 28 verse 1. So now the case is closed. There remains no accusing voice of condemnation against those who are joined in life union with Jesus, the anointed one. Hallelujah. What is the word saying? Listen to me. If the enemy has brought a case against you, that you are a sinner, that you are guilty, that you are condemned. Hallelujah. That your prayer has not to be answered by God. The Bible says Romans 8 1 from the Passion Translation. So now the case is closed. The case that the enemy has brought against you. Hallelujah. It has been closed. Why? Because there remains no accusing voice of condemnation against those who are joined in life union with Jesus, the anointed one. Hallelujah. Verse 2 says, For the law of the spirit of life 
flowing through the anointing of Jesus has liberated us from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Satan has no power over you. Any case that he puts against you is dismissed, is closed. His accusations, hallelujah, no matter what kind of accusation he may place against you, hallelujah, it is baseless, hallelujah, because you are being joined to Christ. You are one in the Lord, which means as long as you have intimacy with Jesus, as long as you are living in the realms of the spirit, the enemy has no power over you. How many of you want to abide in the realm of the spirit? Hallelujah. Because that's where you were born from. You were created in the realm of the spirit. Your blessings are in the realm of the spirit. So why are we on the earth? We are here on the earth to make heaven. Hallelujah. To make the earth like heaven. Hallelujah. We are here so that earth becomes the second heaven because as your God is a creator you too are a creator because the word of God says you are God's don't you know so as God's hallelujah above the great God hallelujah you are God's don't you know the greater one is seated on the throne that we worship and you are that small God who is called to create Hallelujah. Who is called to build a creative artist. Hallelujah. That is sketching heaven on earth. Hallelujah. And as you are sketching heaven on earth, I am telling you, you are invading the earth and bringing heaven on earth and bringing the glory. May God bless you. I hope you are blessed. God bless you. Shalom.